All right, we're going to set up the brand new, I got a new one, here's another one. We're gonna set it up. I already registered it with the company. When you purchase one of the Micron gauges, register it with the company that comes in. They give you the registration instructions and where to download the app uh, onto your phone or onto your iPad. I have it on the iPad right now. You've seen me use this before in other videos, but let's get this uh, checking for updates. We're gonna wanna connect, I already have it on. You already see I have an audible alarm. You can see my battery level and I should have the Bluetooth signal on here somewhere. Where is the Bluetooth signal? Run, run, mode, units. Ah, Bluetooth, right there. There it goes. So we're now displaying our Bluetooth signal. It will send out to the unit, uh, to your iPad or your cell phone. Let's connect, and I think we have to sync this one. It's brand new. Come on, sync up. Okay, let's go down here. Select. Um, connect. Let's see if that's the one. Or it's a new one. Connect. Come on. And, oh, add gauge. Hey, how about if I be really smart, and since this is new, I add a gauge. There we go. Only problem is, is I have four gauges. And so now which one? Uh, let's scan. Let's see if it's the newest one up top. One gauge found. Yes, I want to save that. Oops, what did I just do? Connect. I think I'm connected. Connect. There we go. That's our indication. And we have 76,000 microns right now. We're going to be ready to... You see where I have it set up? I have it to one port. And I have one hose. Now this is refrigerant hose. And as you see, it looks a little funky. Um, I was trying something here where this is an industrial adhesive this stuff is really really strong uh, i had a hard time applying it as a liquid thin fluid and trying to pull over the shrink tubing at the same time but this stuff is near indestructible and as you see for gauges i have removed the port do you see the size of the port so that's what it looks like for the vacuum port because i removed this has been removed and so this is what it looked like before do you see how restricted that is do you see those little tiny openings there that is what you have to try to move vacuum through so it slows you down so to move a faster vacuum you remove that and now you could go through that but if you want to even do faster vacuum you see this hose this is three quarter inch vacuum rated silicone hose and look at the size of the port inside there do you see the size of that humongous monster and if i hold this humongous monster right here and give you a comparison this is the difference what you would be drawing vacuum through and this is your limitation right here this is why you use a dedicated vacuum hose all right, so I'm gonna hook that up. Let's get this all hooked up. That's hooked up. Let's tighten that. And we're gonna data log this on here. As you can see, right there, it'll data log. And actually tell you, show you over time, how fast the vacuum drops. Let's get this hooked up to our vacuum that would be nice if i had it over here okay i'm going to have to put this down because i cannot do this with two hands and we'll come back on to this in the second video this is going to be multi videos so we're kind of probably be going over four five six videos don't know i'm going to show you different methods of drawing vacuum i'm going to show you another method
using this one single hose hooking up to here and I can show you the difference between drawing vacuum through refrigerant hoses that were never meant to draw a deep vacuum for a vacuum decay test. And then I will show you the difference between drawing a vacuum through a dedicated vacuum hose that was meant for being drawn a vacuum. And we will actually test it. We will data graft it and we will prove and show the difference between the two. All right, let's get on to video number two after I get this all hooked up.